you art teachers out there. Um, I was looking for an answer to the great watercolor crisis of 2020. Um, and I found it in liquid watercolors. So <laughs> what I do is I put out the liquid watercolors here. I have them all down there. And then I let them dry. Um, it will take about a week if you air dry them, but you can put them in a very low oven, very low oven, because obviously this is plastic. Um, my coworker did that, but I just let them dry for a week and they look like this. And um, they are very, very pigmented. This is Blick liquid watercolor. Okay, so then when you go to rehydrate them, you just fill it back up with water and I think I'll show you, okay? So hold on a minute. Okay, so I take a little bit of water and usually I use two hands for this, but we're gonna just go real slow. There we go. And then you get your brush and you agitate and mix and kind of scrub the edges and you want it to let it sit for about 30 seconds, minute, but you can see how bright and vibrant. And I did that at least a month ago. Okay, so my students absolutely love these watercolors. Um, so I'm making more just in case the watercolor crisis um, continues into deep into 2021, I want to be prepared. Okay, right. one more thing I forgot to tell you is that these are super concentrated and you can see it's been a minute and the water level is down a little bit. <clears throat> but what you want to do is take this and dilute it even further. So I'm going to go get another palette. So here is my palette. It's actually a food container lid and I love using these because students have these at home. But I just take my brush, I don't even have a watercolor brush here. I put out some water just to kind of show the students, you know, that you need some water and just a little bit. And then I can make it as diluted as I want or it can make it a little bit more strong. Okay, but there's still a little bit of chunkies in there so I'm trying to, but there we go. That's more like a watercolor color. This is not watercolor paper but um, you can make it stronger, you can dilute it more, it's just up to you. Okay, so that's how I use them in the classroom. I use a secondary palette to dilute, all right? 